Students at Garden Spot High School experienced a living history lesson today. News 11's Chad Lander stopped by to see how one teacher brought his lessons to life. We're learning more about it by personal instead of just what the person who wrote the book was talking about. More than 40 ninth graders listened intently today to over half a dozen walking, talking history teachers all on loan from Garden Spot Retirement Village. The goal was to get these senior citizens to engage students in important historical events that shaped our country through the eyes of people who actually lived it. It makes it more exciting to hear the personal and you know I just went past somebody and he was choked up and I, I if I remember correctly last year was talking about Vietnam and the personal experience he had and a friend he lost and it's powerful you know and these stories can be and, and I think that'll stick with the kids and at the very least reinforce the concepts we're going to talk about but I think probably takes it beyond what we're going to do in class. We talked about Vietnam and he said that he was supposed to serve, but they never called him. He said that a lot of his really close friends were, were um, like they died during the war, and he said one of his best friends died. Clearly, students were absorbing the information in a way that most would not experience it by reading it in a textbook. You could see on his face that it was a sad thing to say. Um, all of me and my two friends were, we were like emotionally hit with that because like I could feel like through him that that really had to be hurtful. The lesson was also a chance for the senior citizens to put their life into perspective and share with the next generation how the country they were born into has changed so drastically over time. When I was born, they, uh, the big high tech item was the, was the crank phone that was a party line. I lived to see men walk on the moon. As an Army vet, Bob has seen the world evolve. He says it's much more global now and wishes that he could start his life all over again and enjoy the new technologies that are available. But at 94 years old, he's happy to just keep on living and offered this advice to the students. Pursue your life with great uh, vigor because anything you can imagine is possible. In New Holland, Chad Landers for News 11.